sorry I don't have no music hooked up right now, but what gets me is this. When these same people who believe that um, they are right and they are righteous say hateful things. Now, I just got through watching Rosewood again. I don't know why I watched your video and, you know, and then, you know, I was watching Rosewood and it just really, you know, I just got to tell you the truth. And the truth is, you can't change stupid. Just like in Rosewood, it's what we've grown to expect as a people. But now, for the first time in history, there are enough poor white people feeling the wrath of the cops putting foot up the ass that it might make some difference. Because you know, throughout history, not until white people feel the same suffering does any of the suffering change. I said it. Not until a few white people are killed for no reason at all on film by a cop, innocent white kid, will things change. See, here in California, like you mentioned, after the Oscar Grant case, they had cops on TV scared. They say they double question the use of uh, excessive force, I mean, uh, deadly force. They, they question their, their use of deadly force because they think they might be convicted. Involuntary manslaughter is not a conviction. In a couple of weeks, Oscar Grant's murderer will probably go free. That's the whole reason he stayed in jail. So I'm not going to get on the Johannes Mesley case. I want to get back to the monkey comments. I find that it's not just when you speak of, quote me if you want to, black people trying to feel better about themselves by saying something positive to other black people through a camera. In other words, you speak on injustice because it has touched your life. So you let other people know this is wrong. And because you're black, you have to be some monkey or some little subhuman and shit. You're not smart enough to understand these crimes aren't happening to you, blah, 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 blah. Black people who do crime don't own computers or nothing. They don't have no sense of what technology are. They are the bad ones. They are making you look bad. They want to divide us even more. Because we are not like those who do crime that happen to look like us. So when we get pulled over and they want to treat us like the stereotypical black person that's going to be all up in their face and like, hey, man, and all that shit, then they're going to treat us like they treated those people in Rosewood. Let's teach these niggas something right now. And some of these white people who see this treatment happening in black people feel they need this. Look at how they act. But now... Like I said, enough poor people are white. The problem is, they act blacker than we have ever acted. We have never acted black. We've always tried to assimilate. You don't see us in America speaking our native language because it was stripped from us. We speak the language they taught us, but they don't. They want to beat us for acting the way we've been taught to act. No, no. We act the way they told us to act. So we act that way. They expect us to speak in broken languages, in broken English, their language, which is broken in the first place. See, we are not as good are as the people that keep us in captivity. Those people who enforce the laws, they're only enforcing their own feelings. If I was a cop, you think I'd be nicer to black people? Probably not. I wouldn't be nicer to white people either. Probably not. And the people I'd probably most likely be an asshole towards is those who I know who to look for the problem in. The stereotypical ones. The black guys who look like me. The girl with the braids in the hair and the cell phone all the rings on the jewelry for no apparent reason at all. The same stereotypical shit that they would look to seek out a criminal in us, that's what I would do if I was a cop. Thus, as me trying to come up in the ranks as being a cop, I'd probably pull over more people that are more stereotypical to what a crime uh, would be committed by. Oh, this long-haired white guy uh, with the rock and roll shirt, he might be more successful to doing speed, so since he got the beard, I'm going to go fuck with him. 
because now I want to make a, a crank bust. You know, these young kids over here in the store, oh, they're trying to get blunts. Oh, they smoke weed. Let me see if I can go give me a little weed bust. You know, and I might be completely wrong. And cops, they don't give us the benefit of the doubt because I might want to look like a young kid, so I put on a flappy jacket and shit because it's, it's comfortable. And look at me. Put a hat on. I look like a young kid. You see me walking down the street? This is a young kid. He might be dangerous. This is a big black guy. He might have a gun. Everybody looked at like the image in which was betrayed and filtered into our mind. So as a cop, he gonna look for that image that's been filtered into his mind. Because we as citizens, the image filtered in our mind is these people come out after us, they come out after the people, they come out after, they come out, they come out to get you. And you can see it in their face. It's just like they go, this guy's scared. What is he scared of? I'm scared this motherfucker's gonna try to fuck with me. So now I'm on the defense. We read each other's faces. We have intuition now as a people. We know when the shit is gonna hit the fan. I feel drama, because I can see it, I can feel it. There's a, there's the adrenaline, you just, it's like an electricity. You know when this shit is gonna hit the fan. And we're hardwired and programmed to know when a cop is gonna be dumb, and when a cop is cool, walk up, hey man, you know you driving stupid. Not, get out the car, put your hands up. I'm talking to you. You know, to get something from somebody, you have to give something. And if a person sees in your face, the exact intent is in your eyes, then the fear kicks in. If I got a warrant, a little small bullshit warrant for nothing, and I see a cop, I'm like, oh my God. Oh, it's that cop. That cop, the one with the attitude in his face, the one that's going to be an ass to me, the one that's not going to let me, I'm going to, and that's when people run. A criminal is not going to just go off and throw their life away. This is America. One thing in America we have been taught is to hold on to your balls because you might lose them. Your life is all you got. White, black, Asian, Mexican, uh, alien, whatever. Your life is all you have here in America. Ain't no, oh, the family, oh, the church, the religion. Oh, you don't see us hollabobbing and all that and this and that and, and walking around with crosses and shit. You don't see that in America because we are a group of individuals taught to self-preserve. But we've been so distracted that the only person that we try to preserve now is the only person that dwells in the skin in which we live in. Self-preservation. And when these cops see somebody... All they do is flip to that training, that stereotype, that memory, the bad ones, all these things that happen. And as a person, a human being, you have to differentiate. You have to know when to be a hard on a person and when to be respectful because there is a fear. I'm scared this big person is going to hurt me. I'm scared this man with this gun is going to kill me. I'm afraid that this person with the badge does not deserve to have it. There's a fear. And that's all it is. And these people who put bad comments on the bottom of your page, they're afraid. They're afraid that one day you have the power to walk up and down the street without someone stopping you because you look like the black lady that did something to this black person over there or did something to this person over there or did something not the black lady that's doing something for herself you're looked at as the person that did something to someone else and we're always looking like someone else who done something bad and that's the problem between the police and the citizens get the person right because when you make a false identification you hurt the wrong people. It's like a stray bullet shooting a man on the ground, laying face down with his hands behind his back because someone wanted to torture somebody else to teach everybody else a lesson. Keep the fear going. If they're all scared, we can all be scared together. And my control is infinite. You've been